Since the 1940s, the UK has run many nuclear reactors for research, military purposes and electricity generation. These reactors all use uranium as fuel, housed inside of a core made out of graphite blocks. This graphite core assists in the nuclear fission process, enabling a controllable chain reaction which provides a constant source of heat. This heat is then used to turn water into steam, which in turn drives turbines to produce electricity. Nuclear power plants though invariably create nuclear waste, and therefore when any reactor is shut down, the waste must be safely stored and contained. We then simply have to wait for it to stop being radioactive, however this takes thousands to millions of years, making it a long-term safety and financial commitment to maintain and monitor. Because of our use of graphite moderated reactors, the UK has created almost 95,000 tonnes of radioactively contaminated graphite blocks. This graphite is just one form of carbon, a common and stable element, but having placed these blocks in a high radioactivity environment, some of the carbon is altered by the nuclear energy, turning it into the radioactive isotope carbon-14. The carbon-14 will eventually turn back into normal carbon once its extra energy decays away, but this is a lengthy process and the radioactivity of carbon-14 halves once every 5,730 years. Recently, scientists from the University of Bristol's Cabot Institute have demonstrated that the radioactive carbon-14 is concentrated on the outside surfaces of our graphite blocks meaning that it is possible to process them to remove a lot of this radioactivity. By heating them, much of the radioactive carbon is given off as a gas, which is then collected. The remaining graphite blocks are still radioactive, just less so, meaning that they're less of a problem and less of a cost to deal with. The radioactive carbon-14 in gas form can then be converted at low pressures and elevated temperatures to form a diamond, which is just another form of carbon. These small, man-made diamonds have a strange property in that they can generate an electrical current when placed within a radioactive field. Our diamonds, though, are made of radioactive carbon and so are able to provide their own energy to generate a small electrical current. This gives us a nuclear-powered diamond battery. For this to be used safely though, another non-radioactive diamond layer is formed around the radioactive diamond, completely absorbing all of the dangerous radiation and converting it into even more electricity, making it near 100% efficient. There are no moving parts, no emissions and no maintenance, just direct electricity generation. And since diamond is the hardest substance known to man, no other material could easily offer any more protection to the radioactive carbon-14. On the outside, only a tiny amount of radiation can be detected, but this is less than what a single banana emits, making it perfectly safe to handle. As we mentioned, the radioactivity of carbon-14 halves every 5,730 years, meaning our diamond batteries have an incredible lifetime. They would only reach 50% power in the year 7746. These diamond batteries would therefore best be used in situations where it's not feasible to charge or replace conventional batteries, such as in satellites and space exploration, or use in implantable devices, such as pacemakers. In fact, there are so many possible applications that we're asking the public to make their own suggestions using the hashtag diamond battery. The development of this new technology solves some of the problems of nuclear waste, clean